Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtagorband here, and we are back with part two to my 250 subscriber special battle. And this is a three versus three, so also a pretty large uh, scale battle. And I am playing as the Langobards, and it is Rome versus the Germanic tribes. So very interesting scenario as well. So on one side we've got uh, Romans. And on the other side, we have uh, the Langobards for myself, and the Swabians in the center. And way on the flank, we've got the Saxons. So some very, very elite uh, Saxon infantry joining this battle. They're going to bring their chosen warriors, no doubt. Uh, so let's take a look at the army compositions. This battle is a little bit slower of a pace. Uh, so we'll have time to be able to take a look at the army counts before we get everything going. So in the front for myself, I've got four units of Germanic Hurlers, very light slingers. And then I've got, uh, five units of Godin's Chosen, or do I have five? One, two, three, four, five, yep. And then I have four units of Germanic Warband, so they're just a cheap axe infantry, but, uh, they've got some good armor-piercing damage, which is what I'll need against the Romans. And I've got my general way back there, Godin's Warlord. And then I have uh, six units of the Saxon Lances. So very, very deadly shock cab there. And they are uh, three gold chevron upgrades, so I've really pumped them up. Looking in the center at the Swabian Force, we've got three units of Swaby Oath Takers for the Spears. And then we've got some uh, noble Swaby Swordsmen, I believe uh, four units of them. And there's four units of elite Germanic archers. These guys are pretty good tier two. They've got excellent range. And then in the back, we've got two units of Germanic pikes and a lot of royal Swaby cavalry. So these guys are very deadly. Tier three heavy shock cav. And the general is just a Germanic noble there. And then the last uh, faction over here, the Saxons. So again, a lot of Saxon Lancers. And then in the front, I'm trying to see between the trees here. But we, yeah, we've got some Nordic Warriors here. We've got some Nordic Band. Got some Nordic Pikes, Nordic Axe Warriors, a lot of Axes. They're a light Axe unit, but if you can get them uh, into melee after another unit has soaked up the charge and the uh, archery fire, then they should do pretty well. And we got the Nordic Raid Leader back here, and here's all the other Saxon Lancers on this flank. So let's take a look at the Roman players. Starting on this side over here, we've got the uh, Eastern Roman Empire. So he's bringing some Cataphractory. Then he's got uh, some Metalatoi. Looks like two units of them. Then he's got some Numeroi. So this is kind of the uh, standard infantry for the Byzantine Empire. So they look pretty cool. And we got some Eastern Auxilia Palatina, so some cheap spears. Then he's got some armored Sagittarii. And I think he has one unit of Hitarii Guard over here. Yes, he does. And then the general is right here, a Comes. Then looking at the middle force over here, we've got the Western Roman Empire. So he's bringing four units of Balistarii. He's bringing a Leves Amatiore. I believe that's like an amateur Leve is what it translates to. Then he's got a lot of these uh, Corniuti Signores. Looks like five of them. And then he's bringing some Herculani Signores. So these are the most elite infantry for the Western Roman Empire. Tier 3, pretty pretty hardy soldiers. Then he's got uh, a lot of Scout Equites. So Tier 1. And then he's actually got some Equites uh, Dalmete. So Melee Cav. Then looking at the third player over here, I believe he is also Western Rome. Yes, he is. So he's got uh, some Cataphractory. So he's bringing some decent Shock Cav, about five units of them. Then he's got some Western Auxilia Palatina, three units. He's got five units of Elite Ballastarii. And then he's got six, wait, five. F yeah, it looks like five units of Elite Palatina. Sorry. <laughs> some of you guys are probably saying uh, that took way too long to count to five. Uh, I'm tired. Uh, okay, and then we've got uh, Comas for the general as well. 
So, uh, yeah, we've got it on pause right now just because... Well, I guess we could put it on play because not much is happening at this point. But if we kind of zoom out and take a look at the battlefield, you can see that the Germanic tribes are, are very close together. Uh, we're kind of supporting each other in our endeavor here. But take a look at the Roman players. Kind of each to their own here. The One of the Western Roman Empire's armies has uh, claimed this strategic hill over here. And then this middle army is kind of just in the open. And this other Roman player over here is is over to the right-hand side. He's kind of got a little bit of a hill that he's claimed as well. If we take a look at the man count, it is still 12,000 men on the battlefield. So pretty big battle. Uh, but we do outnumber them by about 80 men. And they are starting to, to lose some forces right now. I think I'm firing at them with my slingers. But it looks like he's going to be, uh, this middle Roman player is going to be moving forward to his cab to try to get an early harass off on me. So I pulled back my slingers out of charging range. But unfortunately, my uh, Godin's chosen, they cannot form a shield wall. And here comes the, sh er, here comes the charge. Ooh, yes. Just slamming right through my men into my slingers. And he's pumping another unit into the mix as well. So yes, very uh, good start for the Roman player here, but as you can see, I peeled uh, back a couple of units of my Saxon Lancers, and this Roman player is kind of happy to sit on this uh, hill. He doesn't really want to engage me at all, so I just will continue to pull back and pull back and uh, aid uh, my Swaby ally in taking the center. Look at that, so there goes his cab. It is breaking. And then I'm getting some nice charges on his uh, crossbows and his levees. Very nice there. So yes, he's actually lost both units of his cab and I've wrecked two of his slinger units. So that's pretty good for me so far. You can see that the Roman player is moving some of his cab to intercept and help his ally, but I'm just going to uh, pull back my faster Sax or German Germanic Lancers. And I'm just going to push forwards my Godin's Chosen to kind of soak up the charge here. And then, yes, they're going to disengage, so I'm going to chase them forwards uh, with my Lances. Taking a look over here, the battle is underway. I'm sorry that I missed this charge, but uh, the battle just is going very fast. Let's kind of turn it to slow motion here. So, yes, the uh, Eastern Roman Empire is uh, just, just getting slaughtered right now by these uh, axe units. You can see all the blood spraying. The Numeroi are having a hard time trying to uh, hold back these heavy axes. It looks like we, uh, we've got some cav uh, in behind the lines as well going after the armored Sagittarii. We've got another unit of Saxon Lancers moving in as well. And over here the Eastern Roman Cataphractory losing to the cheaper Saxon Lances just because he's got some uh, Nordic Axe Warriors to help out with that good armor piercing damage. And then if we uh, kind of zoom forwards into the center, the main line of the Swabians have committed now with their Spear Masters. So we can go ahead and turn off the HUD here. And watch some of the fighting. Western Romans are trying to uh, break through the Swaby Oath Takers, but that is going to be a tough task. And in behind, you can see that I'm pushing forwards uh, some of my Godin's Chosen. Uh, I'm going to be kind of helping the Swaby player in the center with a two versus one. Because as you can see, way up on the hill, the Roman player, he is he has realized that uh, I am not going to engage him on his hill. I'm just going to support my allies. So he is, he is rushing down the hill to try to support his allies. But at this point, it's a little bit too late for that. So yeah, you can see I've just, I'm just continually pulling my line back. Uh, because I don't want to engage this hill at this moment. Yeah, so I've got my Godin's Chosen over here, so they're doing quite well. Or some other uh, areas of the battle. 
Oh yeah, just look at this. So the Swaby player has completely wrapped up this fight in a matter of minutes. Uh, the Eastern Roman player did try to hold out as best as he could. Check out this guy. He's got a Pila through, through his, uh, through his back. Uh, disappeared though. But I believe, yes, that's the Eastern Roman Empire's general, so he is dead. So most of his infantry that had not broken is going to break at this point. Oh, looks like we're going to get a nice charge on the back of those uh, archers with the uh, Saxon lances. Oh, yes. Yeah, just ripping them apart. So I think that that's uh, pretty much the end of that fight over here. And in the center, it's a little bit closer, but because I've supported with my infantry, uh, I think we're doing okay. And yes, the uh, finally the Western Roman Empire is moving forwards. I've got my units of Godin's Chosen over here that I'm going to try to uh, run into this cavalry charge. And I think I try to put them in loose formation uh, at the uh, last possible minute. Yeah, there they are kind of spreading out there, but yeah, good charge there by the Western Roman Cav. And then I'm following it up with uh, some of my slingers that have used up all their ammo. And then over here, I'm moving my Saxon lances around the flanks, but they are getting just picked apart by the armored Sagittarii. Yes, yeah, so that's not going well for my Cav. They've got very poor uh, missile block chance, so I really have to keep them out of out of harm's way there. And at this point, uh, you can see the balance of power has moved into our favor. So at this point, I feel that it's okay. Okay, excuse me. <coughs> Ugh, I had a terrible tickle in my throat. Sorry, guys. So at this point, I realize that it's probably a good move for me to move forwards and try to hold back the Western Roman player so that he doesn't come to support his ally. So unfortunately, the only the only infantry I have left are my axes. So I'm trying to charge them in, but as you can see, they're just getting decimated by arrow fire. Uh, they've got uh, really light armor, really poor missile block chance. Uh, so it probably wasn't the best decision for me to charge in like this, but I just needed to delay him further. Uh, he was ready to kind of charge in and close in on the flanks. So I think sacrificing my cheaper infantry like this uh, was a valid strategy. But yeah, just look at that. They're getting cut down by these elite Romans. Let's uh, go ahead and zoom out there. So yeah, I'm charging the rest of my axes up here, but they're really not going to do too much. What I'm really relying on is my cab that's kind of gotten around the flanks here. Uh, but he's quickly trying to redeploy his spears to kind of zone me out. Yeah, the Saxon lan- or sorry, the I keep saying Saxon, but they're Ger Germanic lancers. Oh, let's get a nice charge here. Let's zoom into this unit. So I'm trying to get around to go for his general, but he does move one of his units of cav to actually intercept mine. You can see I'm getting a kind of a good counter charge onto that same cav unit. So they effectively did stop my charge there. Let's go ahead and zoom over to the other spot of the battle. I don't want to focus just on my army, so let's take a look at what's going on over here. So yeah, we've got the Herculeane Signores now. They are engaged in melee with some of my Godin's Chosen. And I believe also the Noble Swaby Swords are in the fight as well. So very nice fight there. And you can see that the Saxon army is just pouring over this hill to come and support us over here. Let's go ahead and put it on play again. So here we go, my Saxon lances. Yes, I get a nice, get a nice charge off on the uh, Kome's general, but we've got uh, another general right next to it that's going to also move into melee to help out, and he's pushing some of his Western Auxilia Palatina in as well. But I did a number on that general with that charge. He's already down to almost half. Let's 
go ahead and see the uh, generals fighting. I really like the mechanic in this game where they charge in with their lances and then they uh, pull the shields off their backs to fight. That's really cool. I'm, I'm really liking the attention to detail there. Uh, I believe that was my general who had died. But uh, the Komes is breaking. So that is excellent for me. But yeah, my general was holding back a lot of the Eastern, uh, or sorry, the elite Palatina for the Western Roman Empire. So he did give his life for a good cause. I'm really just trying to delay these uh, these soldiers from wrapping around uh, behind the Swabians. Oh yeah, but a lot of my men just getting slaughtered, heads flying everywhere. But they are fighting bravely. I think they they fought to the last man. I think that's that's just all of them. Yeah, so I don't think they broke. They had haven't even broke yet. There's one more man fighting in this unit. Where is he? He's over here. Oh, and he just broke now. Or is he breaking? No, he's steady. He is steady and fighting still. Oh, there he goes. He's dead now. Brave, brave man. So, yes, we've wrapped up the other two flanks over here. So now we're kind of just moving into the Western Roman Empire. But I feel like I did a decent amount of damage to his uh, troops. He's got a couple units of Elite Palatina, but uh, they're decently weak. And he does have his spears, which are fully health. Fully healthed. <laughs> In full capacity, I should say. But, uh, yeah, pretty much all I have left are uh, the Slinger unit. And I've got about three very depleted units of Godins chosen. So we're moving them forwards. In behind here, the Saxons are moving forwards very slowly. They're kind of just recharging, I think, after their uh, slaughter. Look at those heavy axes. Very nice. And then we do have one kind of lone unit of pikes over here. But we've got some Swaby Cav hot on their tails. So uh, it doesn't look like they're sure what they want to do. There they go. They've kind of pulled out their pikes. Looks like they're trying to get into uh, some kind of formation to block this cav. Turning back on the HUD. So what do we got left? It's uh, 2,700 to 1,400. So uh, the Western Roman Empire is uh, still pretty healthy in man count. And most of his archers still have ammunition. Which is a good thing. So, But so did the Swabians. They are have a better range as well. So they're going to try to use that range against the Romans. You can see that a lot of the uh, crossbows have to move forwards just to get into range. Then the Western Roman Empire here, he's got his uh, shield wall holding nice and tightly. And here is my army, what's left of it. I've got my uh, Germanic hurlers moving in, followed by a couple depleted units of my Godin's Chosen. And it uh, looks like this Cataphractory is going to get rid of my Slingers right away. Which is okay for me. I kind of wanted to push my slingers in to bait this cav unit out. Because now they're engaged in melee. And I'm pushing in my Godin's Chosen now. To, to kind of keep them in melee. So yeah, he does get a decent counter charge off on them. But now I kind of have them where I want them. So I'm going to get rid of this crucial unit of cav. And here comes some of these Saxon Lancers from James the Great. Saving the day. One of my units was starting to waver here. Eight men left in it, but they're hanging on. And yes, there goes the Saxon Lances, and my unit's steady. Look how many I have left. I've got uh, 33 plus 7 is 40. Forty, fifty-one. I have fifty-one men left on the battlefield. 
and uh, I'm just engaging one unit at a time here. I've got uh, my units going into some spears now. Looks like we got some Royal Swaby Cavalry coming in from behind. So really good teamwork from the Germanic tribes here. And then, yes, we've got a big push by the Swabians. So just pushing right into the crossbows with their uh, elite swords. You can see the Pila being thrown as well. Oh, we got some fire arrows coming in. The elite Palatina have uh, been pushed into battle now. A lot of blood and gore going on in this fight. So it looks like it's going to be a victory for the Germanic tribes. You can see that a lot of the Royal Swaby Cavalry is just running down the general that did return. We've got another general here that is still alive as well. And I've got my three units still still fighting. Man, the Langobards. Just such great morale. And here come the Saxons now, finally joining the fight. Got some Nordic band charging into this big blob of Roman soldiers. And here come the axes to follow up. Oh, man. Yeah, this hillside is just strewn in bodies. You can see, like, some of the victorious uh, Saxon lances just sitting over there. And there we go. Fyrick victory. So let's end the replay, take a look at the results. So thanks very much to uh, the three Roman players, uh, Matty, Tom Torre, Tom Torre, I believe you would say, and Herodianum. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so my infantry doing pretty solid. My axes, not so much. They got destroyed. Uh, my slingers doing okay. My cav doing eh, kind of okay. Looking at the Swabians, uh, doing very well here. Hamdog uh, using his... Uh, Using his Swaby Oath Takers very well. His Noble Swaby Swordsman did well. His Archers did well. And his Cav did well. This one getting 273 kills. So that is excellent. And then James the Great. Uh, you guys probably guessed it from his Heavy Axe build. But uh, just doing so solid with his Infantry and his Cav doing excellent. 360 with a Saxon Lancer unit. That is pretty good. Then looking at uh, Tom Torre, so he was the one that was facing James the Great. So his infantry suffered a little bit, but his Tarier guard didn't do too bad. And his cab basically got no kills. That's a tough sight to see because these are decently expensive. And then uh, Matty, he was in the middle, so he was fighting both myself and Hamdog. So he did pretty good considering uh, his archers doing not bad. Uh, a couple of the units got zero kills just because I charged them early on. But his cav also not doing too well. But his infantry did solid. And then uh, Herodionum, uh, he was the last one that was on the hill. So doing pretty good all around. His crossbows getting a lot of kills, but they were probably on my uh, uh, Germanic warband. And his cav doing not too bad. And his infantry doing not too bad. So all in all, he, he did okay. But uh, I, I think the, the main loss was just because we were able to destroy uh, Maddie and Tom Torre so quickly without the support of the third player. So he did do a, have a very good last stand, but it just wasn't enough to turn the tide of battle. So yeah, so that concludes my two battles for my 250 subscribers uh, special. Thanks so much again, guys, for all of your continued support. Uh, and uh, it looks like I've got a couple people that are interested in Napoleon content, so I am going to be getting a lot more Napoleon naval and land content on my channel, and I'm kind of toying with the idea of maybe a Napoleon campaign, so if you guys are interested in maybe seeing that, uh, just comment below who you would like me to play as, and I'll kind of have my 1078 Medieval Wars campaign and my Napoleonic campaign going at the same time. So, yes, thanks a lot for all of the, the views I'm getting, guys. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.